uh, talking to Grant about all the sports memorabilia here, but how about this? This is the actual hoverboard that Michael J. Fox wrote in in that movie, Back to the Future. Look at this. Yeah. The actual, I wonder if it still works. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, right. <laughs> right, right, right. Can we see it up here? Yeah. yeah there you That's are. awesome. That? And, of course, if you're not familiar, the whole deal is that Back to the Future 2 is when Michael J. Fox went in the future, the 2015, the movie was made in 1989, and they discover, of course, that the Cubs won the World Series that year, and that's why all this Back to the Future 2 love oh, is going yeah. on. October 21st, I right? think that was the exact date. 21st, yeah. 2015, let's see what happens. Yeah, exactly, of course, they were in a DeLorean, too, and we have a DeLorean replica behind us. Here's Tom. Tom, what's the deal with this car? You're in charge of this car. How'd this come about? It's about 23 years ago I bought the car, and this year I knew the Cubs were going to win the World Series, so of course I had to do the conversion. It took me about three months, a lot of pain, a lot of agony, but most of the parts here are designed by me, 3D printed. Um, as an engineer, this is what I do. I make things happen. And the only thing I bought was Mr. Fusion, but everything else is was something I made from scratch. And you're right here from Chicago, right? I am, the southwest side. As a matter of fact, if you guys want to ride in this vehicle, you can. Just go to www.deloreanride.com, and uh, you can win a, you can basically get a ride in it. Tom, here's my question. Did you actually check out Jake and Melody before they got in? They've got a long record. I've got video of that, by the way. Behind yeah. the scenes, they don't know yet, but there's a lot of good footage there they do not know about. Tom, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. The car looks fantastic. And in case somebody wants to actually win a DeLorean, you get a 1 in 800 chance if you go to www.deloreanraffle.com, and you can win a DeLorean, an actual DeLorean from 1981. Wow. Tom, thanks so much. All the best. Let's go check in with our guys in the car here. Hey, Dar, come on. Over here. So, um, does this feel like your car now, or what? feel like my car. It's mine, man. The roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. Oh, I love that. He's got that line down. There's somebody else okay, in the Are you really going to wear that hat out? I look fantastic. I am rocking this hat. Like the How Fresh Prince you? of Bel-Air. Who's your partner over there? <laughs> this is, uh, this is Doc Mel. It's co-pilot Mel. Hi. Oh, are we ready? Oh, sorry. Okay, we're ready. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. I I've got the map. And uh, I think we're all set, right? Are you going, uh, are you diving later or what? Yes, yeah. I'm diving into the past. Okay. And then back to the future. Nice, nice. Obviously, Melody's never actually seen Back to the Future. <laughs> she, she's a little young, as you are. All right. Yeah. So, Dar, what, what do you think about today and what's in store? And give me a thought. Well, you know what? It's all about pacing. Okay. We've had a long, fun-filled morning here. Yes. It's going to be about having taking a nap. And then, of course, first pitch, 7.08. And I think it's going to be hashtag fly the W. I like it. I like what fly you're thinking. Fly the W. What are you thinking? I'm with you. I, I don't think Jake Arrieta can be stopped. And that's uh, and that is it. Well, Buster Olney, ESPN baseball analyst, one of the most respected guys in the game, yeah. said recently in his history of covering baseball, which goes back like 40 years, he's never seen a pitcher more unhittable than Jake Arrieta. We'll see what happens tonight. Fingers caught cross, okay? All right, all right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I think we're about out of time uh, for Jake and Mel and Darling, everybody here. And 